Hey YouTube, we is again. We are out here at a four bedroom, two and a half bath home on a full basement, 2,200 square feet of livable space, which that doesn't include the basement because the basement is unfinished. Three sided brick, 1.3 acres. We are in Decatur, right off Flat Shoals Parkway. So you're close to both 285 and I 20. Literally like too many drive from both of them. Fully renovated house. New roof, new appliances, new floor. That's a three-sided brick. It's been painted. Real nice house. Unfinished basement on 0.3 acres. So you go all the way back there. They got a piece of it fenced. Not all of it. Let me go back there. I think it's a little line back there where it stopped. But yeah, three-sided brick. Not gonna walk around because of the fence with the pull around garage. So the garage isn't in the front of the house, it's in the back. And a parking, parking, uh, what's it called? Parking pad. Just walk you in. It looked like they did the septic tank. That's what I'm thinking they did, septic tank. That's why the grass looked like that. Here's your entrance view. Should have the door closed so you can see it actually look decent with the contrasting colors. Got your flooring done, entrance view. Walk over here, got your dining room. Got your fully renovated kitchen. New appliances, new countertops, new counters, new refrigerator. Everything new. Here we got some cabinet space. I don't know what this would be. A keeping room, I guess. Anybody got any idea what this would be right here? This little strip. Comment it down below. Let me know. It's your bank door. Open this up real quick. Let me open this last time. Okay. I thought I had broke that, but I didn't. Somebody else did. New AC, new hot water heater, new furnace. That's it, they replaced everything. It is currently listed at 360 or 359.9, 360. Come over here, you got your washer and dryer connect. Two car garage. Okay, I can't get that open. I don't want to yank it, so we're going to leave that alone. If it ain't no broke, I didn't do it. So that's why we ain't going to mess with it. But you got your living room. That's why I said I don't know what this would be. It's a little strip from the kitchen to the garage. Mm, keeping room. I'm guessing that little piece would be the keeping room. And then that's just, I don't know. Anybody got any ideas? Comment it down below. Let me know. But you got your family room right here. Fireplace, full basement. We go down in a minute. Oh, yeah, half a bath too. Half a bath downstairs. It's the basement. We go down that last. I'm up here, cut these lights off as we go. This is. Don't know what this would be. It's an office? Yeah. That's about all this could be is an office. They got an office right here. That bedroom number one. That's the master. We're gonna go to that last for a bath. It's look like the fire extinguishers. They ain't did them yet. Cause it's hanging on all of them. Bedroom number two. 
barrel number, yeah, all of them. They ain't did the fire extinguisher on none of them. It's barrel number three. I'm back down the hall to the master, which is bedroom number four. To y'all future investors out there, a little trick I learned from one of the investors I worked with named Jerry. He said, don't ever leave these doors. He said, whenever you got something like that, put a barn door on it. And then another little trick was this. How you doing a master bathroom? He said, make sure you always got a tub. Double vanity. Shower. It's a nice shower, though. Actually, a really nice house. A lot of space. Got a lot of kids or something. A lot of kids or mixed family. We got the space for it. Like I said, it look like they still working. They ain't finished yet which is a good thing, because they mean they're going to finish out whatever problems they got. Usually when they're still working, they don't have no problem fixing little knickknacks that pop up on the inspection report. Because in this time of age, sellers don't be wanting to fix anything. But usually if you kept them, catch them still working, they'll fix little stuff. But it's always a plus. Real nice house. Head down here to the basement. Cut these lights out. That's kind of hot in here. It's a full unfinished basement. Like I said, the house is 2,200 square feet of livable space. And I don't know how big the basement is. I'm going to take my head though. But it's a real big basement. If you wanted to add a little bit more space down here, you could. All your utilities are new. I mean, not utilities, but this stuff. Hot water heater in your furnace. Look like some of the piping new too. They did a good job renovating. Renovators did a good job. This look like it used to be the dryer thing. So they moved the washer and dryer from down here to upstairs. The motion signals. Okay. Ah, yeah. Oh. I almost did a lot of cussing right there. Don't want to hit my head. That little pole right there, low. I have a headache for the rest of the day. Ooh, I had to catch myself. Oh, you too, that kind of threw me off. I bust my head. All right, let's get these lights off. I'm gonna cut one off. And at the front door, I think I got a few more lights. Yeah, I'm in the video at the front door. I'm gonna cut the rest of the lights off. But like I said, four bedroom, two and a half bath, 360,000, 2,200 square feet on a full unfinished basement, 0.3 acres, three sided brick, fully renovated house in Decatur, Georgia for 360,000. Like I always say, like, subscribe, share, comment. And if you see, if you need to know any information that I might have missed, be in the description. Until next time, YouTube. We out of here.